I think it's like one of those things you either kind of get it or you don't. Cause like you said, a lot of, a lot of like my friends will be like, I don't understand, you know, what's so it's like, this is just, this match is like 40 minutes of guys just, you know, they're, they're stunt men. And I'm like, no, nah, it's, it's, there's such like a psycho if, if it's done well, there's like a psychology behind it. And then there's like this backstage, you know, the, all this, the dirt sheet stuff that's going on that like no one, you know, I find that very interesting, you know, how it's run and how it's promoted. It's a lot like in the film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I mentioned like the words you used, you know, jobber and, and juice use it and stuff. And just that, that whole aspect of it, the, the cave, the, it's like it's got its own language that goes back to the carny days, which all of that I find really fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. You know, and I'm sure that, you know, not everyone's into that, but, but so, uh, how long, how long have you been a wrestling fan, Rick? Oh, for forever. Like since I was like six. You remember like who were the first people that really you got attached to? Um, well, Jake, the snake for one, um, he was one of my favorites when I was growing up, uh, being a kid, I obviously liked Hulk Hogan. You know, and I, I always like, I think as a kid, I always liked the big baby faces, um, you know, until I was like a little bit older, you know, and then got into, you know, everybody was like super into like, you know, Stone Cold and uh, Vince McMahon and that, that whole conflict. I think like, yeah, people were obsessed with that in high school. It was like, what's Vince going to do? Like, you know, it's like, and people wanted to see that over the top stuff. Mm-hmm. The attitude era. Yeah. 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 People were obsessed. This is Sue Vicious, and you're listening to WithoutYourHead.com.